everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CID TV News Brief on this Thursday. Recently, the Cayman Islands Cabinet approved a protected area management plan for Meagre Bay Pond in Grand Cayman. Now, that plan aims to restore and maintain key ecological functions while facilitating sustainable enjoyment of the area by members of the public. The Species Conservation Plan for Sybil's Crown Beard, a critically endangered plant found only on a small stretch of the bluff cliff, face in Kim and Brack has also been approved by Cabinet. Department of Environment Director Gina Ebanks petrie talks about Meagre Bay Pond. Meagre Bay Pond is already recognized internationally as a birding hotspot and we're going to be enhancing and managing this activity with the improvement and addition of one or two viewing platforms for the public. Uh, this also has the advantage of leaving other areas of the pond as a refuge for the birds. The participation of the local and international bird watching community supports the DOE's efforts to monitor bird populations in this protected area. Both plans went through public consultation prior to being confirmed by the National Conservation Council and submitted to Cabinet. Premier and Minister for Sustainability and Climate Resiliency, the Honorable Wayne Panton, says the approved plans are a welcome step toward greater protections for key habitats and species here in the Cayman Islands. Now, for you to read the full plan, you can go online to conservation.ky. Well, this week, the Department of Environmental Health recognized Mr. Vincent Leachman, an employee who has worked with the department since the age of 20 for almost half a century. It's some sort of mixed feeling, but um, I'm very happy to know that um, I come to the time when I uh, will be going and um, my, my retirement. Uh, but... <laughs> But other than that, I'm very happy to know that I'm going on retirement. Started in DHR, I was a collector. And um, after being a collector for five years, then I started to drive. Um, and um, we used to burn the garbage. And we started at the quick Square and um, then we left and come up where we are now. But of course, it was a glorious time. And to know that I reached this point, I'm so happy. And I also will encourage those workers who are coming, who are here, whatever they work, put it to good use. Mr. Leachman has not only witnessed the evolution of the waste management system in the Cayman Islands, he's also written on its pages with his con contribution and years of committed service. Mr. Leachman has worked at the DEH for the last 48 years of his life and is now retiring from his job as a truck driver for the department. Known for his friendly personality, he received a plaque. We say congratulations to Mr. Leachman. Well, finally, the Queen Elizabeth Botanic Park announces plans to host a new master class with Dr. Sandy Gray, a trained chemist, coming this, this Saturday, coming the 20th of March. Dr. Gray, who grew up in West Bay, chose to study and research the chemistry of plants used as medicines after watching his father, Reverend John Gray, recover from a bad flu through the treatment of fever grass tea. Uh, Mr. Gray returned to Scotland to postgraduate research towards a uh, PhD in phytochemistry. This master class, Dr. Gray will take attendees uh, on a trip to the Colombian Amazon rainforest where he completed field work with many indigenous communities. Now, the master class again is set for this Sunday, the 20th of March from 2 to 4 p.m. for a fee of $25, which will be collected on the day of the class. Now, you must pre register as soon as possible by uh, emailing manager at botanic-park.ky right away. All the fees collected will go towards the continued development of the Children's Garden Project at the Botanic Park. Our forecast for today calls for partly cloudy skies tonight with a 20% chance of showers. Seas will be slight with wave heights of one to three feet. The outlook over the next two days calls for similar weather through Saturday afternoon. Now the synopsis calls for light winds and seas which are expected over the Cayman Islands area as a cold front approaches the Yucatan Channel. The front is expected to weaken overnight. A reminder for the latest on unexpected local weather conditions, uh, you're to go online to weather.gov. 
www.cigarsandcigarettes.ky. And that's it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, wishing all of you a wonderful night and inviting you back here again tomorrow on Friday evening. Have a good one, everyone.